teams combined that have now played 82 postseason games. The Giants and Packers, Brett Favre and company against Eli Manning and the New York Football Giants in the third coldest game ever. Minus one at kickoff, minus 23. And he remembers one that was colder. That was Bart Starr, the honorary captain of the Green Bay Packers for the coin flip in the first quarter. After the Packers had a couple of good plays, but then punted. Brandon Jacobs runs over Charles Woodson for a gain of four. The big fella right away, Tom. Just making a statement as to how we're going to play the game, the Giants. Then Eli Manning to Plexico Burris. Now, wait a minute. I thought the Packers had the two strong cover corners. Now, Manning under pressure. Almost picked off by Cullen Jenkins, 77. They settle for a Tynes field goal, but the Giants have gone into Lambeau and drawn first blood, if you will, although it froze, 3-0. Now, Manning. Burris, it's a fumble, but it's out of bounds, so pick up Giants. 21 yards, sets up another Tynes field goal. Six nothing, G-Men. Far to Donald Duke and the driver from their own 10, and he could go all the way. The fourth longest postseason touchdown pass ever. 90 yards, far to driver. Yeah, great play fake, uh, drew the corner up, safety couldn't get over. You see him fighting his way off the line of scrimmage right there, and a perfect throw from Brett Favre. So the Packers all of a sudden were stymied, but now they're up 7-6. to six. The Giants are down 10-6 here, third quarter. Manning Burris, 18 yards is the opening drive of the third quarter as the temperatures, if it's possible, getting lower at Lambeau. It's a fumble by Brandon Jacobs, but Kevin is the boss. Thunder Road falls on the ball at the one. Yeah, and that those are the plays that a game turns on. You have a chance to keep them from scoring, get the football, but instead... <laughs> Touchdown, big fella Jacobs, 13-10. G-Man. Ensuing Packers possession, third down. Watch this. Doink, doink, doink. Donald Driver has it short of the first down, but Sam Madison flagged for unnecessary roughness, and so to the chagrin of Tom Coughlin. First down, Green Bay, then five. Everybody doesn't like something, but nobody doesn't like Donald Lee. It's a 12-yard touchdown, 17-13 the Packers. Here comes Ahmad Bradshaw. Wow. You saw thunder, now here's lightning. 10 yards, same drive, Giants. Manning, too well-dressed even on this day. Amani Toomer, 23 yards, Packers challenge it, but good call. You can see it's an outstanding catch, and what a job of the Giants offense rushing to the line of scrimmage, forcing the Packers to throw that flag and challenge that play. And then from the four, it's Bradshaw that barrels into the end zone. Boy, the Giants moving the pile. They've scored on another drive, and they lead 20 to 17. Now, fourth quarter, Brett Favre has time. Looking, now all of a sudden is the rush. What? Spun around and picked up by R.W. McCorders, one of the heroes last week. But chase of that Chargers Patriots game a, a year ago. It's a fumble, and Mark Tosher falls on it. And the Packers get a field goal. We're tied at 20. Manning burst. Oh, Al Harris breaks that one up. Although Burr certainly had the upper hand all day. Lawrence Tynes, 43 yards, no good. And so. Coughlin jumps on his young kicker. We're still tied with seven minutes to go. Now McQuarters returning. And the ball is stripped. It's loose. It's free. What? But Dominic Hickson is Johnny on the spot for the Giants. So a couple fumbles that the Giants end up getting that were their own. Ahmad Bradshaw. Wait a minute. He's going to score again. Touchdown. The Giants are going to win the... No, it's a penalty holding on Chris Snee. Now Manning to Steve Smith, 15 yards just shy of the first. Dad Archie, I, I, I can't watch it. <laughs> Third one, Bradshaw, bang, first down, much more. Eight yards, here we go, same drive, Manning. Under a minute to go. Can they get it to field goal range? Yes, they can. That's an 11-yard pickup to Steve Smith. From 36 yards, Lawrence Tynes is a chance to put the Giants in the Super Bowl. It's it's no good. It's no good. Snap a little high. Mike McCarthy thrilled. Tom Coughlin can't believe it. Packers win the toss in OT. Opening drive. Favre looking for driver. 
but picked off by Corey Webster, who defines the moment for the Giants. Huge play by Webster. Yeah, great job of defense, great job of running the route for the receiver, making a nice cut inside of him for the pick. Then Manning for Steve Smith, incomplete. So now, you're going to try a field goal from 47 yards? It's long enough, it's high enough, it's deep enough, it's good! It's good! <laughs> Lawrence Tynes, who twice had a chance to win the game, now does it on the longest opponent's field goal kick in the playoffs ever at Lambeau. And that's a classy shot. Two Mississippi boys playing in a game that ended at four below with a wind chill of 24 below. Brett Favre, the 30-year-old, 38-year-old veteran, congratulating the youngster, Eli Manning, in his fourth season, going to the Super Bowl. The Giants have won three straight road games to get to the Super Bowl. Only the 05 Steelers and the 85 Patriots have done it before this. And now, Tom Coughlin's team has a chance at their own destiny. The fact now, fact now that we've won 10 straight games on the road, which is a record, uh, franchise record, NFL record, you name it, and we are the NFC champions is a, is a wonderful tribute to these guys because as two or three of them mentioned to me as uh, we were in the locker room, they believed, we believed, not very many others did, but we did, and, uh, and that's the reason we're here. We like games in the cold. We like playing uh, on the road. We, uh, we don't like winning it in regulation. We, like, we don't like winning on the short field goal. We like winning in overtime on the long field goal. Uh, we like to make it tough on ourselves, but it, it's working. You know, I'm just going to try to enjoy this 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 season we had as much as I can and, and try to block this game out, which will be very hard. I'm not going to let this game um, sway my decision one way or the other. Well, so all of a sudden that's coming. But here's what happened. For only the fifth time in a conference or a league championship game, it went to overtime. And I don't know what it means. Tom won, you were involved with the epic game when the Broncos won in overtime on the drive at Cleveland. All five times, including the greatest game ever played in 1958. All five times, these overtime games.